All right, it's time to measure the CPU and GPU performance on Galaxy Note 10 Plus after the One UI 3.0 update based on Android 11. I have got the Exynos version of Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus here, which has got 12 GB of RAM with 256 GB storage. The device has been performing quite well on One UI 3.0 first beta without any problems. We have already seen the battery performance results in the previous video. Just in case if you have missed it, you can go ahead and hit the link in the description to watch that video. Now let's measure the performance of Note 10 Plus on Geekbench 5 and let's compare it with the previous results of One UI 2.5 which is available on Geekbench website. Now first let me show you the user updated score of Note 10 Plus on Geekbench. This score may not be accurate because the results will vary from time to time depending on the status of the device and in which battery optimization mode the phone was measured on. Anyways, this is what we have got now to compare with. As you can see here, we have got the CPU benchmark scores 734 single core score and 2029 multi core score. Now let's head over to the Geekbench 5. As you can see here, the model number is Samsung SM-N975F. It's running on Android 11 and rest of the details here. Now what we are going to do is we are going to run the CPU benchmark on this application and compare the scores on One UI 3.0 with the previous scores which are available on Geekbench website. To some extent this is going to help us ascertain whether the device is performing better or worse. Before we start the test let's just make sure that the device is on high performance mode. Let's go to battery and device care. Let's first optimize the phone. Done. Now let's go to battery and make sure the power saving mode is turned off. As well as the enhanced processing is turned on. So this is at its fullest performance level. Now let's go back to Geekbench 5 and let's start the test now. All right, so you can see here the single core score is 795 and multi core score is 1916. Let's just compare it with the previous scores. So the old single core score was 734 and the current single core score is 795 which seems to be better. Uh, but when it comes to multi core score 2029 is the older score and the current test result is 1916 which seems to be lesser than the older scores. So this will keep changing every time you test it. So there will be a variation of at least about 50 to 60 points. As you can see the history here, I did test it a couple of times today and uh, uh, one of the previous test results is showing 2011 multi-core score and 758 single core score. So it seems like the performance seems to be almost same like before. It's almost the same performance uh, the Geekbench 5 is showing. So uh, this is what it is. That's all I want to share with you guys. Uh, this is just a comparison between One UI 2.5 Geekbench 5 scores as well as One UI 3.0 Beta's Geekbench score results. That's all I have here. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.